Next, for statistical treatment of data, we're going to look at the 90% confidence limit. What's the 90% confidence limit? Well, for the value that you calculate for it, you're going to be 90% sure that your data is within that value uh, from the mean. Okay, let me show you what uh, a little more, more details on this. So here's a formula. It's t times sigma over the square root of n. Sigma, that's the standard deviation. We, uh, I have a previous video that shows you how to do that. So if you're not sure about the standard deviation, check out that video. n is the number of trials. And then t is actually from this table. So if you don't have this table, for some reason you don't have our lab manual, you don't have access to it, make sure you write it down. Uh, you're going to need to know this value of t based on the number of trials. Let's take a look at our example here. got a couple random data points. I found x. Remember, x is the average. That's from a previous video when we talked about the standard deviation. And I just found the standard deviation for us based on these data. Now, for the task at hand, finding the 90% confidence limit. That's what we want to focus on. Uh, let's take a look at our data and see what we have. Well, uh, t, in our case, if we just take a look at the table, uh, it looks like we have three data points, so that's 2.92. Times sigma, which is our standard deviation. Again, I showed you how to do that in a different video. Divided by the square root of the number of trials, in this case, three. So in this example, I calculated 0 0.103. What does that mean? Well, uh, I could write it like this. 2.07, my average, plus or minus 0 0.103, and say that within a 90, I'm 90% 90 confident that all my data points are within this range. The smaller this number would just mean that uh, I have a tighter range of data.